to sell digital photography presets on Etsy. Hey guys, welcome to this new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can sell your own product using this platform. So let's get started first by clicking on the shop manager button in your top right. Then we proceed to setting up your Etsy shop. So in here, in order to, to set up your Etsy shop, you will need to go through six steps, as you can see in here. And the first one is the shop preferences. Then comes name in your shop. After that, stock in your shop. Then you have to choose how you will get paid. Then setting up your bailing and setting up your shop's security. So let's start from the first step, which is the shop preferences. And it's where we choose the shop's language, the shop's country, and the shop's currency. So for the country, I'm going to change it. For the currency, sorry, I'm going to change it from the Moroccan dirham to the United States dollar. Then click on save and continue. And for the name, don't sweat it. You can just draft a name now and change it later. We find sellers often draw inspiration from what they sell, their style, pretty much anything goes. <coughs> And if you want more naming tips, you can just click on this link. So for me, I'm just going to choose my, I'm going to choose my niche's name as my, my shop's name. So here I'm going to type my niche's name, digital photography, press it. Then I'm going to remove the spaces and try to shorten the name. I'm going to remove digital and it looks like the, the name is already taken. <coughs> I'm just going to add one and the name is available. Then click on save and continue to proceed to setting up your shop so add some photos and details about your item fill out what you can for now you'll be able to edit this later so for the photos before even adding any photos or any detail first click on save and continue to see all of the required fields to fill so here you have the photos inventory listing details and shipping so for the shipping you will need to fill all of these <coughs> red fields and then you will fill these red fields in the listing details. And when you're done, you will fill these, the price of the product in the inventory. Then you will also add or upload a photo of that product. And then only then you will be able to proceed to the next step. So let's start from the first one, which is photos. Add as many as you can so buyers can see every detail. Also use up to 10 photos to show your items most important qualities. And for tips, use natural light and no flash. Include a common object for scale. Show the item being held, worn or used. Shoot against a clean, simple background. Add photos to your variations so buyers can see all their options. Then for the video, you can bring your product to life with a 5 to 15 second video. It could help you drive more sales. The video and feature sound, so let your product do the talking. So guys, the video here is not like the pictures. If you have a video, that's good. If you don't have it, there is no problem. You can still move on to the next step <coughs> without even uploading a video. And so for some tips or some quick tips to how to create a video where film wearable items on a model or show a functional item being used. Adjust your settings to record high resolution video. Aim for 1080 pixels or higher. Crop your video after you upload it to get the right dimensions. And if you want to learn how to make videos that sell, just click on this link. Then we have the listing details where we're going to fill the titles the title of the product 
then we're going to answer these three questions who made it you can choose from these three options i did a member of my shop another company or person let's go with i did then what is it the finished product or a supply or tool to make things let's go with the finished product when did you make it not yet made recently or vintage let's go with recently and specifically between 2020 and 2023 and for the category just choose some keywords and then you will have a lot of categories to choose from so i'm going to choose the first one <coughs> then you will have some other details to fill like the primary color of the product then you have the secondary color of the product then we have the renewal options so in the renewal options we have two options automatic renewal which costs 20 cents and the manual renewal which is free so let's choose the manual and for the type if you have if it's a physical product or a digital product so let's go with the digital product then in order to write a good description make sure to start with a brief overview that describes your item's finest features shoppers will only see the first few lines of your description at first so make it count not sure what else to say shoppers also like hearing about your process and the story behind the, behind the item or this item then if you have any production partners you can just add them like this you type the production partner's name location and all of these details then if you want to add any sections you can add them in here for tags also you can just type your tags and you can type your materials then you proceed to the inventory and pricing so here make sure to choose a good price for the product a fair one for you and for the clients then for the digital files you can upload at least one file or you can add up to five more files so you can do that in here and then last but not least we have the returns and exchanges and as you can see here no returns or exchanges the buyer can contact the seller about any issues with an order and that's it for the digital products so when you're done with filling all of these informations you click on save and continue and that's it guys for today's video don't forget to like the video subscribe to my channel and share the video with your friends